Hi, I'm Jim Gehring from Brown Tool Auctions, here to tell you about some of the tools we have listed in our October 30th auction in uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. What I have here today is a selection of what are called rabbit planes. At least that's what they're called on this side of the Atlantic. In England, where this form originated, they are called rebate planes, R-E-B-A-T-E. -E. But over here, we've always called them rabbit planes. Spelled like a rabbit except with an E instead of an I. A rabbit plane is designed to make one of the most basic cuts used in woodworking, and that is the rabbit, which is a horizontal cut that is along the edge of a board, uh, runs along the, uh, the side of the board. It's used in cabinet making to make butt joints, so the two butts of the board, ends of the board can butt up against each other. It's also used to make what are called shiplap joints, where you have two uh, boards with opposite rabbits, and they can overlap with each other. Uh, because it's such a basic cut, there have been a wide variety of planes that have been developed in order to make rabbits, and I've got a selection of them here. Here we have an original, uh, typical wooden rabbit. This size is generally referred to as a shipbuilder's rabbit, and they are used to make shiplap joints, which are overlapping joints in the planks of a boat, of a boat so that the two can overlap with each other. You can get a nice watertight joint, you can put caulking in there, and then your boat won't sink. A good thing. This particular one was made by John Veet, who is one of the earliest Philadelphia plane makers. Um, as I mentioned, uh, the characteristic of a rabbit is that the iron or cutter goes to the far side, all the way to the sides of the stock. The reason for this is when you're making a rabbit joint, you've got to get right up against the uh, the remaining portion of the board, because you're making a step uh, cut in the board, so you got to get right up against the board, so you, um, your cutter has got to go all the way across. Uh, this one in particular has got a skewed iron, which is very typical of rabbits. It's also got two knickers, because sometimes rabbits have to be cut against the grain, so you need your knickers in order to cut the grain, so you get a, a, a nice clean cut without any tear out. I say, this is a, a classic form of wooden rabbit. Now Stanley made a couple of different kinds of rabbits. This particular one is from the number 10 series. This one is a 10 and a quarter, which is a little shorter than a, than a number 10. Um, as you see, it's just like this one. It's got the open escapements on the side so that the cutter can go all the way across, but it does not have a, a skewed iron. They typically made these without the skew. Um, Stanley made these. Basically, they're very similar to their normal bench planes, except for the rabbit type uh, cutter. Um, they made them in a couple of different sizes. If you ever see one, by the way, this is a 10 and a quarter, which is the, the smaller size. If you ever see one of these with a corrugated sole, you know, don't let it get away because those are very rare. Those are very uncommon. Stanley also made a series of smaller rabbit planes for cabinet maker work specifically. Uh, the number 90 series, this particular one is a 92, the kind of middle sized um, size on them. And uh, the nice thing about these is they've got, you can open this screw and you can slide this part open and close to give you some adjustment on the throat. So those are kind of the standard rabbits. I want to mention to you or share with you some uh, less common rabbit type rabbit planes. Let's start out with this little guy. This is called the ladybug. This was a series of planes that was made by the Sargent Tool Company. It was one of Stanley's major competitors. Most of Sargent's planes pretty much duplicated what Stanley made, but they made a few unique designs of their own, and the Ladybug is one of them. They made these and obviously called that because of its size and because of its shape. Um, there are actually three sizes of this. This is the smallest size. It's a number 1506. Technically, it is a 1506 and a half, and the reason it's called that is because it has a depth stop so that your rabbit sees, keeps a nice uniform depth all the way across. And it's got a fence so that you can set the width of the rabbit cut. So these are very popular with collectors. In, instead of having an open escapement on the side, the other thing you could do to make a rabbit is just to have a flat, a flat sole on the side so there's really no cheek at all. There's no escapement at all. Um, those are generally called tea rabbits. This is one that was made by a company called Birmingham Plane Company. It's sometimes called the Batwing Plane, because you can see they put a little decorative uh, shape here. So these are also very popular with collectors. 
This is another form of tea rabbit made by Boston Metallic Playing Company. Again, it's got a nice flat sole across here. Because you don't have any cheeks on it, you don't need escapements on the side. Um, this was uh, another form of patented tea rabbit that's uh, pretty rare these days. They didn't sell all that well. And then the final one I wanted to show you is English. This is a type of rabbit play known as a Lancashire pattern. And you can see it's kind of a it's got an offset tote, so you can grab by here. That way you keep from uh, barking your knuckles against the wood that you're working against. And the, the iron goes on the side, and then it's got this nice flat side here to go up against the board that you're working. These were actually patented. They're almost always English. They were patented in England, but 99% of them that you find are, uh, were made by pattern makers rather than being uh, commercially manufactured. And as a result, a lot of times they'll have a nice brass casting like this one, a uh, very attractive mahogany uh, tote and knob here. So these are always very nice to find. They're, uh, they're not that common. You can see there is a wide range of uh, what we call rabbit planes, and we have several of them that are available in this auction.